Right, so this video will act as a guide for the ones out there who are still struggling with masturbation and basically porn. For the, This is a video for the men out there who might have an addiction to this, whether they know it or not. I've managed to determine the best way to stop fapping, and it's not what you think. It's not some uh, tactic that some uh, no fap YouTubers are doing out there. He's like, oh my god, guys, so uh, you should, on this day of the weekend, on this day, you should be doing this and this and this, and you should be eating this, and you should be watching this right now, so you don't feel like masturbating. It's not shit like that bro it's something much more simple you don't have to follow any kind of crazy set of rules you don't have to do it's literally a simple fucking solution right and i'll get into that a little bit but you need to understand the dangers of porn because before i can i can just tell you this right but it won't be as meaningful as it sh truly should be right you don't you wouldn't understand if i wouldn't have relate to you, like the actual dangers of porn, right? Trust me, when you'll see the solution, when you know the solution while knowing also like the ways porn just ruins your life, then it's gonna be much more useful, right? So porn, it's I think the, the one of the best gateways to social alienation nowadays so what i mean by social alienation is that you no longer fit in your in your social uh community right you don't you kind of every time that you watch porn that you masturbate you just slowly but surely you've drift away from from those people that you uh had in your community you no longer feel as connected to them you no longer feel as as eager, you know, to just spend the day with people like them, you know, you know. So things like these, like literally not just kind of dr slowly but surely drifting away, losing connection with other people while watching porn, while doing this, while literally being consumed by porn. It can lead to, you know, becoming like an alien to your own community, you know, to your own tribe. You become like this person who just cannot relate. You know, you feel like you're so misunderstood because you want something else that everyone else does not even think of, right? Porn also, I think, is one of the leading factors to why we as men nowadays have so many issues with dating and that like why not just men but women as well right why both men and women we have so many problems with uh dating and why i think this might be one of the main reasons why sex is so glorified nowadays you know although sex is very important it's the bodily transmission of love right i don't think it's a good idea for a 14 year old to go out and fuck in uh, some dirty bathroom, right? Just because porn makes it like somewhat acceptable to do so. Because because of porn, because of all this fucking sexual, all these sexualized uh, fucking standards that we live by. You know, we, we think that, oh yeah, it's okay for a fucking 14 year old to go to a party, <coughs> get drunk as fuck, and go out in the toilets and fuck, right? No. Like, what the fuck, man? It sounds weird to you as well, doesn't it? It's fucking stupid. It's unacceptable, man. You know, what's going on here? And, you know, when you're watching porn, when you're literally seeing that shit in front of you, you're seeing like the fucking act of sex, you know, being so commonized, it's like literally, it's no longer something pure, it's no lo longer something that you'd see a man and a woman who truly love each other do, no, it's just this 
casual thing that you get to do whenever you feel like it. You know, you go on Tinder, you upload some shirtless pictures with a six pack, you talk some bullshit to a girl, you fuck her, and then you leave after. Like, that is so wrong. That is horrible, you know? And this is what is being pushed on with porn nowadays. You know, they literally just. They're supporting this, this degeneracy. They're supporting this distance between man and woman. They're supporting this destruction of love. I don't know how to say it, bro, but, you know, they're literally just bringing it to the fucking ground. Because how can you feel love? How can you feel some sort of connection? To a woman as a man, when you fuck this woman, like you literally go on Tinder, you fuck this woman, and then you leave. And then you go to the next and the next and the next, and you're going to parties and shit for what? Fucking what, man? So that you can feel this pleasure, so you can feel like you're having fun, you can feel like by all these sexualized standards that we should live by, you know, that you're doing right, you're doing the right thing, you know, that you're liked by other people who are also addicted to porn, who also have this fucked up perception of love, of intimacy. Bro, I mean, honestly, just tell me, when was the last time you watched a fucking porn video in which it was literally a man and a woman married who truly love themselves and they went by religious standards. Who truly believed in God, for example. You know, they went by, they had love under God. You will not see that shit because that shit does not exist. Because nobody in their right fucking mind records themselves having sex. It's only people who are fucking desperate for money. It's only people who... Know that this is what fucking little kids are addicted to. This is what eight-year-olds are watching nowadays, bro. Like, I'm not even kidding, bro. I go to school, man. You know what I see, bro? I see little fucking kids, bro. I, see, I look at them. I literally, I don't know what they do, right? But then I see them fucking on their phone because, you know, eight-year-old kids, bro. Nowadays, they have all, they all have phones. It's all normal, and I see them literally just looking at fucking ass and titties. They're laughing about it, you know, it's all cool because you're looking at ass and titties, okay? But what's going to happen when these kids are going to be 10, 12, 14? No, by the time that kid is 14, he's going to have a crippling porn addiction. By the time that kid turns 14, he will be a social outcast. Porn destroys your self-esteem. Porn destroys your self-confidence. It just puts it to the fucking ground, bro. How would you feel, you know, if I, you literally, like, you're fucking mad, you're, you're horny, you go and you bust a nut, you masturbate, right? And then right after that, you literally get out, like, maybe, like, you literally just go downstairs and you have a meal with your family. Like, literally, you're horny as fuck. You literally masturbate. And after, right after that, you go downstairs and you have a meal with your family. How the fuck would you feel? Bro, I'm telling you, you wouldn't feel fucking... You wouldn't feel any source of... Any good feeling. Any positive fucking feeling. No, you'd feel fucking shameful, bro. You'd feel horrible. And because of that, because of that shame that you feel, you wouldn't be able to talk to your family as you would if you just didn't fucking masturbate. You wouldn't be able to just kind of be present in the moment because you'd be buried in your own fucking insecurities and your own problems. And you think to yourself, I literally masturbated. Now I'm, I'm, I'm acting like it didn't happen while I'm having a meal with my family. Your brain is literally telling you that it's making you feel fucking bad about it. It's making you feel shame, ashamed of yourself. You know, and you will not be able to build 
to develop your social connection with your family. You won't be able to build a good relationship with your family if you do that shit. With your friends, with a girl, bro. I mean, how many? There's so many guys out there who are literally so addicted to porn that <coughs> they have a woman. They literally have a girlfriend. They're like all legal age and shit. Like, and instead of actually having sex with this woman who they might truly love, no, instead they literally go and they masturbate in the bathroom, watching some weird shit. The best way to never fap again, to never fucking even think about doing it again, is to no longer view it as a part of your life, as a problem that you're, fa that you're facing. That is it. The best way to stop fapping is to never... Consider it a part of your life, you know, as you would with any other addiction, because this is a very, very horrible addiction to have. You're addicted to this, you know, and instead of saying, oh, you know, I'm trying to quit porn, I'm trying to quit alcohol, I'm trying to quit drugs. Well, if you're just saying I'm trying, you know, in your pussy mind, trying equals it's OK to fail. You know, because everywhere, everywhere we've been, you know. In fucking school everywhere, bro, uh, they say, at least you tried. You got a shit grade. You fucked yourself over. At least you tried, guys. It's okay. At least you tried. You're in sports class in school. You cannot do something. And because your teachers are all politically correct fucking feminists, you know, at least you tried, guys. That's all that matters. And so when you're saying, I'm trying to quit porn, in your mind, it literally, it goes back to that memory of, at least you tried. And you think to yourself, okay, so... There's no, absolutely no issue if I fail. I go back to it. Like, your brain is like, no, you cannot live like that. You cannot live like, yeah, there's absolutely no issue if I fail. There is an issue if you fail. You will remain addicted to this fucking life-destroying addiction that you have. So instead of saying, I'm trying to quit porn, you're saying, you will say, no, I don't watch porn. No, I don't masturbate. It's that simple because... If you literally build it in your identity that you're somebody who doesn't even watch porn, you're somebody that doesn't even play video games, you're somebody that doesn't even do any of that those things, right? You won't, you, nat you naturally won't do them. I mean, if you say it for long enough, if you like, literally, bro, for example, you're going out to a party, right? And there's a bunch of alcohol, drugs, whatever, and somebody's offering to you or, you know, like, it's literally like about to happen like everyone is like drinking and shit they're like aren't you drinking bro aren't you taking any of this shit bro you think to yourself no and then you literally just tell those people no i don't drink no i don't do drugs those people they won't they'll say okay you know i guess he just doesn't i guess he doesn't quit i, I guess he doesn't use drugs he doesn't drink alcohol But, and to himself as well, it's in his mind, it's literally, he makes his own mind believe that he doesn't do those things, so that he literally, he won't have any kind of resistance against it. So you should do the same, you know, next time you fucking feel like you're horny and shit, and you're like, damn bro, I really want to bust a nut right now. And you're thinking of all those fucked up memories in your mind. You're, you just remind yourself, no, I don't masturbate. No, I don't watch porn. That shit, that shit is for losers. That shit is for retarded dudes out there, bro. That shit is for weirdos. And you will see that you will naturally not do it. You will naturally just slowly but surely quit. That's how I did it. I mean, to me it was a little bit different, right? I, it took me like a week or two weeks and I, I was literally off of it because I was like busy with a bunch of things, right? And I literally did not even think about it. And when it came back in my mind, you know, this was like a year ago, like more than a year ago, right? I, it came back in my mind. I was like, no, I don't, I don't masturbate, bro. Like, that shit for, is for losers, bro. No, I don't do that shit. And from then on, a year straight, never even thought about it. Never even thought about ever masturbating. And never even fucking considered it. 
never happened. It's been more than a year since I last fapped and I haven't not even considered it at all. You know why? Because it's not in my, it's not who I am. It's not in my identity. You know, and you can do literally the same with any other addiction, bro. Like this is the best way to quit any addiction. This is valuable advice that maybe you'd pay like hundreds of dollars for a course on how to quit your addictions, bro, on how to quit drugs and shit and your alcohol addiction, bro. You literally pay hundreds of dollars just to hear that, okay, just make it a part of your identity. And at some point, it literally, it won't even like, the fog won't even occur to you. You must get rid of anything in your life which might remind you of it. So this is the second step, right? After you've successfully gotten to the point where you say, yeah, man, this is not a part of my life anymore, right? Or maybe while you're doing that, while you're literally trying to convince yourself and you're actually, no, you're actually convincing yourself that you are not this person, you, are, you, aren't, you aren't this person, right? Who masturbates, who watches porn. So as you're convincing yourself that you're not this person, you're literally taking away all the things in your life which could literally remind you of it. All the things which could tempt you while you're still in this kind of gray zone in which you're kind of transitioning from degenerate monkey who masturbates to a man who literally has no connection to masturbation, you know? While you're still in the gray zone, you're still trying, you're like, translocating to that other to that part where you don't even like relate to masturbation right you will maybe you'll be you'll be in a vulnerable state your mind will literally be like having like all these fucking clashes and debates trust me bro it it's gonna you might be trying to quit right now and your mind is literally clashing and it's fucking all ideas in your mind are crazy it's like the passionate part of your brain was like bro it feels good who gives a fuck if you do it right and the rational part of your brain is literally thinking of all the good reasons, of all the natural good reasons that we've all, with, that you know and that I've put up in this video, you know? And it's just a clash of fucking ideas. But as you just start to say, yeah, I don't do this anymore. I don't even do this. Like, I don't do this thing. I don't masturbate. I don't do this. You know, you start to get rid of all the things in your life which could literally remind you of it. All the things which could distract you from that initial statement that I don't masturbate. Anything which could change that into I do masturbate or I want to masturbate, you literally take anything, take all those things away. So that would mean social media, for example, because Instagram, TikTok, everywhere, bro, don't lie to yourself. Do not lie to yourself, bro. Even on YouTube, even on fucking YouTube, bro, you can see ass anywhere, bro. It's, I don't even know, bro. It's, you can see so much, there is so much sexual content on the internet in general, bro. If you could just fucking take away the router from your fucking house and your phone and just fucking break them into pieces, bro, you'd be free. That, it's that simple. You would never have a fucking porn addiction again. But because we still need, need the internet, we still need all those things, all those technology in our life. You need to take away social media. You, you know, it might, this might be like a shocker to you, but like use your fucking mind. Every time that you go on social, on social media, almost anything that you look for, even on YouTube, bro, you're bound to see ass. You're bound to have this fucking thought which triggers that instinct in your mind which is like bro i want to masturbate and you already feel it no you take away all that shit from your life you take away social media you take away video games you take away tv you take away movies and all these fucking things all this fucking modern propaganda bro and you don't just take them away because you know they might remind you of this porn addiction that you you're trying to stop that you're stopping right no, not just for that, because like, there's so there's hundreds of reasons why you don't want to be on social media. There's thousands of reasons why you don't want to watch TV. There's 
millions of reasons why you don't want to play video games, why you want to watch movies. It's not just that, but like doing this, it will literally like solve the other 10 problems in your life. So like quitting social media, video games, TV, movies, etc. Those things, they will literally like in almost instantly solve your uh, problem with the fear of missing out. They will almost instantly solve this issue that you think that there's so many people out there who are better than you. This self-esteem issue is already starting to improve. Like once you quit all those things and you like literally delete any account, any kind of memory that would still be there of those things. Like you literally just, aside from fixing your fucking, uh, aside from fixing your, like getting rid of this porn addiction, you literally like fix other like 10, 20, 50 issues in your life. Just like that. Just, you know, and you feel like if you have this like clash of debates in your mind right now, which you probably do, you know, you're like, fuck, man, I want to do this. But at the same time, bro, I don't know. I don't know, bro, this and that and whatever. Right. You might have all these thoughts in your mind, which are just clashing and. You're stressed out a little bit, right? But I want you to calm down, right? I want you to debrief, debrief with me for a little bit, right? Breathe in, right? Breathe out. There we go, right? You got, maybe you got rid of those thoughts for a little bit, right? You breathe in, you breathe out, you breathe deeply, okay? That's the best way to go about it. Like meditation always helps, right? So just try to calm yourself down if your mind is literally like fucking whirling with thoughts about everything. You know, just calm yourself down before like going forward. So try to imagine your life without porn, without all these things, right? Without this sexualization of love. Like this unnecessary sexualization of love. Because, I mean, love will be sexual. You know, I mean, of course, you know, sex is the bodily transition of love. But just imagine your life without porn. Imagine your life without all those thoughts in your mind every single day just nagging you and that shame without imagine your life without that shame imagine your life feeling confident actually being able to go and speak to a girl in real life man being able to go to go up to this girl and actually make her laugh make her be like attracted to you because chances are if you've been watching porn then you never even tried it you never even considered it just imagine living a life where you are actually wanted by society not by this fucking bullshit society, you know, because I don't, I don't think we all, we don't even want to be like wanted by the feminine society out there, which is like fucking bullshitting all of us, with the propaganda and shit, right? You don't want to be wanted by that, but you want to be accepted by like this community, maybe. Yeah, that's a better word for it. You know, want to be accepted by this community of strong men. You know, you want to be able to just feel confident walking on the street, knowing that you're you're a high value man, right? I don't know, but you have to focus. You need to focus because this is not easy. Of course it's not going to be fucking easy. But this is serious, man, because if you don't quit your fucking porn addiction, do you think you're just suddenly going to end up uh getting this 10 out of 10 hot girl? And all your fucking sexual fantasies that you've kind of like built up watching porn. Do you think they're all going to come true? No, bro. You're never going to fucking attract that woman. Because that woman, she is literally after the high quality men who are working, who are focusing on their mission. Who literally, some which never even fucking masturbated their entire lives. She's after those guys. She's not after the guy who's literally like a fucking degenerate jacking off in the corner of the room, bro. She's not attracted to the guy who cannot even like high, hold eye contact with a woman. 
she's not even she's not gonna be attracted to the guy who cannot like literally cannot stop staring at a girl's ass or her tits or some shit bro if you're like caught up with those things like fully caught up with those things then you need to li you literally need to rethink your life because there are so many things going wrong and you might not even know about them but you need to think you need to use your fucking mind because this is a serious problem that a lot of men are facing nowadays that i faced personally and it was fucking bad for me bro i used to masturbate sometimes even like three times a day bro almost half of my thoughts even more were literally just sexual orientated i was literally just fantasizing about the day that i'd find this girl who would actually be cute or good looking or whatever and i literally do all these things bro a year has passed a year has passed since i last even fucking masturbate bro i don't it's not in my mind porn is not in my mind that fucking need to just literally feel that pleasure that like that pleasure you know which kind of translates into shame and to misery and regret i don't ever feel that anymore like it's just i'm living my life bro i'm enjoying my fucking life and when i do feel horny bro because i mean you're gonna be a man high testosterone high everything i mean you're a young man you're literally developing you know maybe right now you're going through puberty or something i don't know but you're gonna feel like these this need you know to you're gonna get these thoughts in your mind but you, you know how you truly got over this porn addiction when you have these thoughts in your mind but you don't even like consider masturbating you don't you literally don't even consider it and i'm telling you i haven't considered it in the past year i just think of like something in my mind and i'm like damn okay well I might be able to have that after I work hard, after I become a high quality man, after I literally focus on achieving my purpose, achieving my mission, achieving all those things in my life. After I focus and I do those things, bro, I will be able to have that. I will have it and, you know, it's going to be 10 times better than, you know, literally just trying to get it now. Well, I'm still kind of not where I want to be, where I'm literally, I'm not even close to where I want to be, you know where I'm still facing some problems, you know, I literally don't, this is like delaying your gratification, you know, because instant gratification is porn, right? So you want to delay that gratification that you would get from like doing that, like masturbating, and you will literally fucking go for the bigger reward in the future, which is literally having sex with your wife, with this woman that you truly love, who truly loves you, and you can have this beautiful fucking moment of intimacy with her. Like, I don't know. It's, I think that is so much more precious than any other fucking sex you could have with any degenerate girl out there with big tits and a huge ass, bro. It won't matter. Because if there's not that fucking connection with, between you two, if there's not that fucking soul connection where you're literally having sex and you're literally splitting your soul with that person. Your soul. Then sex is not worth it. Then I don't want to have sex, bro. If I literally have sex with a girl and it's like just like this bullshit thing, you know, where I just like instant pleasure kind of stuff, right? then I don't want it. You know, I want to have sex with my future wife, knowing that I will literally be fucking sharing my soul with that woman, you know? Because that is the most beautiful thing that you could do. You know, and I'm not afraid to talk about this shit on camera, bro. Who gives a fuck? I mean, who... Who gives a fuck about the people who are literally getting triggered by me talking about this shit, bro? They can go fuck themselves right? We are masculine men. We are, we have a mission to achieve and there's like no room for privacy and for all these kinds of uh, secrets and weird shit, bro. No, I'm honest with you. You're honest with me. 
you know, I'm being honest with you. I'm literally talking to you about all these things, which I honestly don't know what my family would think of them, bro. I mean, I don't know if what my family would think if they saw a video like this. But, you know, I'm saying this because I don't care what they're going to say, bro. I don't care because I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this so you can get something out of this. So you can become that man that you always aspire to be. So that you can build this beautiful relationship with a woman one day. Who will you will have children with. And who you will be able to just share your soul with. The best way to stop fapping is to never ever think of it as part of your identity again. To just erase it from your identity and to acknowledge it as a fucked up part of your past. And to move past and to just move, look forward. Look forward, think about what you have to do, think about your work, think about all those things that you have to do in order to become a high quality man for your future wife. For your future children. Think about all those things. And trust me. Porn will never ever fucking enter your mind again. And it what, it might do. But it will never like. Ever. It will never like. It, sometimes it enters my mind. But you know it enters my mind as this. You know as this fucking fucked up. Habit that degenerate people do. You know it never enters my mind. As something that I could do. Myself that I could get into again. No. Because it's not in my identity, bro. I'm not the guy who fucking masturbates. I'm not the guy who plays video games. I'm not the guy who's on social media. I'm not the guy who eats junk food, bro. I'm not any of those fucking people, bro. It's not in my identity anymore. I'm free. I wish that for you, man. I wish that you will be free as well. You know, that's why I make those videos. All those videos that I make, I make them for you, man. I make them so that you can get something out of this, so that you can benefit and you can be as grateful for this content as I am. Be grateful for self-improvement as much as I am. We got some value out of this, bro. I'll see you next time. Good luck.